Hello and uh, welcome fellow uh, Gopherites to my demonstration of the Gopher client that I'm working on. So this Gopher client is actually pretty far along, farther than I actually thought it would be at this point, considering I just recently started not too long ago. So this is running under uh, the Qt uh, version of it. There's the GTK is the version you download on Linux, and then there's a Mac OS X version, of course, a Windows version. They're all available on my Gopher space. You can I'll put the link up here in a few seconds. You can see, so you can find it all on my Gopher site under Library. And then if you go down to Pascal Gopher, you will see these right here. So the link you want is gopher.verana.net. Go to that address and then go to library slash Pascal Gopher. And then you can access all of these things here, including, including the entire source code repository right here. You can access or you can see all the source code all the source code here as well. Okay. So let me uh, go through the demonstration now. So as you can see that we're, uh, they can see there, you have a search bar up top now. You can enter any URL you want up here. So first let me demonstrate the search box. This, so you can add, you can right click stuff in the menu. You can bookmark things. You can add to search, like only seven items you can add to search. Save item as and remove nodes. We're gonna add this to search. Search provider has been added. Okay, I guess I already added that search provider then. So as you can see, oh, I guess you can't easily see. Um, but it brings up a pop-up where you can actually uh, view the various uh, the various things. I'll go with, actually I'll do that last, and I'll just move the window out of the way for you can actually see the pop-up there. Fits okay. So let's just go through a few thing, a few supported features. So for one, one thing that is supported is bookmarks. So these are bookmarks that I've added um, whilst doing a search here. Um, let's just go Palm OS because it activates the last item still. There are still a few bugs to roll out. And you can fully view text documents, perfectly fine. You can resize the center, you can resize the window, everything works fully. And as you, when you do searches, you'll notice that down here, you'll get a new search option. So you can see all the new, um, all the new searches. So you can go to Palm Pilot, for example. Here, if you click, it should load up Palm Pilot. Yeah, Palm Pilot. This is on Gopherpedia. You get information on that. You can click onto Palm, it brings up Palm etc right and when you're done with a search you can just easily right click it and you can go remove the node and the node's gone right so other things that work really well is images so if I click under a bookmark here this is under my bookmarks I can click under a Dilbert photo a Dilbert photo and it should load the photo yep loads the photo uh, currently there's two different methods of loading the photo right now I'm using the HTML method so the colors the blacks and Unfortunately, get all weird. I don't know why, but it's uh, for the most part it works really well. I don't know why the blacks do that, and you can save images by right-clicking and going save and going save item as. And of course, remove node won't work for these because these aren't items for that. And you can add things to your bookmark. Say, say if I really enjoy, uh, let's go to this one here. Say if I and it says loading down there as, as you as as you notice as well, loading and it loads it. My connection right now is kind of slow. I don't know why. I'm having issues with my internet connection. Stream read error. Uh, yeah, I'm having issues with my, with my connection right now. Cancel to kill the program. Yeah. I was, I was going to see if my internet's down because my internet's been having f messed up issues. Yeah, it's down for a few seconds there. Okay, I want to bring it back up now. Okay, so it's back up here. Okay, so. But anyways, let's try, let's do an exam, it's, yeah, so, but for the most part, you can access a lot of, um, a lot of stuff using this, so let's do an example search, for example, let's, let's type in Unix, and then, oh, actually, I'll shrink, actually, I'll move this away, I'll move this over here so you can kind of see it, so you press this, and you can do a search from other ones, say I want to search for Veronica 2, or I can do search Gopher Space, which I, because I recently added that search, right, so then, now you see Unix down here. So now you can actually see the research results, right? So let's remove that node. Now let's do a search in Gopherpedia, for example. Let's search Gopher. Do this, Gopherpedia. And now you'll see Gopher and protocol. So it makes it really easy to use Gopher, the Gopher protocol now. The Gopher protocol now has a nice search bar on top, so you can easily search stuff. You can easily bring different things. You can get different documents really quickly. As you can notice, the speed is quite nice once when it actually is working there, as you can see. And then every bookmark you add, the bookmarks are auto. The, the file is saved all the time, so you don't have to worry about saw that crash earlier because of the other thing. There's still a few other things to check. So let's do another Gopher search, for example. Let's search. Um, 
do, do. Um, hmm. Not even sure what to search for right now. Ah, let's go cats. Actually, cats with Laura. Cats. Let's get some pictures. Let's see if we have some pictures of some cats. Move that. No need that search no more. So if I go to cats, I should hopefully see a picture of a cat. Here's a GIF image that loads, so you can see a cat, right? So. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so. So a, a lot of gopher types are supported. You can do downloads as well and things like that. So and you can you can use EXCCs. You can do run. Oh, that's the uh <laughs> it's funny. Um yeah, cuz it's got, it reloads the one there when you load it when you open up trees. It's kind of a weird weird oddity. I still have to kind of do a few other things to make it for it doesn't reload things like that all the time. But uh, on Mac OS X, I also finally increased the font size. So this is a, just an example of the Gopher client so far that I'm working on. It's going to continue being evolved, and then it's going to get better and better. So far, we have a lot of great features here. So anyways, that's the demonstration of the Gopher client. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed.